Hmm. Beloved beings, when you allow yourselves the pleasure of feeling your connection to every person, every object, everything that you have manifested within your physical existence, and you can look out upon the leaf of a tree and hear the message that comes when you can look upon a pet of yours that you love dearly and you can allow yourself to commune when you can touch your own hands and allow yourself to hear the wisdom of your body when you can place your hand upon a wall of a house and let the house speak to you, share its wisdom with you. When you can take any object and allow yourself to receive the messages of love that come forth. When you can be in the presence of any other person, any other being, and ask them, what message do you have for me? and allow their soul wisdom to come through, you will begin to understand the connection that you have to all things that have been the projection of your mind with a desire to experience what it is that you are meant to do, to be, to have, to know, to love. Every time that there is a resistance to something, understand that you are being magnetized through your soul to allow yourself to experience what it is. And you say, I don't know why this ugly penny keeps turning up. It is because it is meant to be polished and turned back into the shining piece of copper that it is, each of you has within you, beloveds, a magnet that pulls life to you. It pulls to you the people, the places, and the things, the very experiences that are meant to teach you to grow. And you look upon so many of these and you say, I reject this. I don't want this. I don't know why this keeps returning to me. Hello. <laughs> you have called it forth. So the next time one of these energies comes to you and you say, this is not what I want. Look again, beloved. Allow yourself to pause long enough to say, is there something within me? Yes. That is drawing this to me? Yes. Should I be paying attention to what is here? Absolutely. And allow yourself to swim inside of the understanding that everything that is being given is for you. You are not being punished. There is not karma that is coming and smacking you on the side of the head and saying, oh, you have been naughty here, so now we shall punish you. No. Karma is presenting to you what it is that you are meant to experience. You have willed this to you, beloveds. Allow yourself to dive into and to love what stands before you, for this is indeed the will of God. Blessings to you, precious and beloved ones. We love you, and indeed we will speak with you again.